Hi, this is Eric and I'm with CatAvenue.com. I'll be your instructor for the six days of piping. So what's the class all about? Uh, you'll learn to do 3D spools in a real world scenario situations. We'll cover how to set up your drawing, input fittings, annotate your spools, create a bill of material, and some other surprises along the way. To get started, you can download our free piping demo. And you'll need a computer with 64-bit preferred. But if you have 32-bit, no worries. We've got a workaround. Just ask us. Class is three weeks long. Twice a week, we'll send you an email with a 3D piping lesson. We'll give you practice examples along the way and free support when you need it. There's no cost or commitment whatsoever to the course, and we'll provide you with all the software you'll need. If you're already on a free trial and you've run out of time, just contact us and we'll extend it for you. Now let's go ahead and load the uh, pipe fittings utility dialog and we'll want to choose options and here we can turn the this bottom box off. We'll also want to make sure that use elbows at bends is checked so that we enable the auto routing feature. We won't be using this today but notice here we've got a reducing T option. Also note that many of the MetQ menus you'll see these X's and clicking on these will tell MetQ which point to insert the fitting by and in this case we'll be picking the barrel of the T. We'll want to snap to the node of the flange and then our point our cursor to the upstream direction. Optionally we can snap to what we call the focal point or where the two center lines of the elbow meet. And from the main piping dialog we'll choose the straight piece of pipe and we'll begin connecting the fittings together. So now we just have the layers we need for our spool. Next we'll click on the options menu from the main dialog and here we're going to go into the bill of materials configuration and select the pieces of pipe that the we want. The first point that you're going to be entering is the leader arrow and then from there the leader begins and then finally placing the balloon. And here's what the bill of materials looks like. Watch the command prompt, so it's asking us the first point of dimension. And we choose enter to activate vertical dimensions. And then it asks us for the first point coming from the flange and then going up to, and then oh. select our points of dimension. So from the node to the weld alette. And then we'll position it as shown. And as you can see, our drawing is entirely black and white now. Uh, let's go ahead and save the layers as they are, and we're ready to plot. Now here we could use a local printer if desired. And as you can see here, we've set this to 11 by 17 paper size. And that's really as simple as it is. And here we're just giving it the path that we need to print it to and, and then choosing Save.